jam. Do jam. Hello, jammy boys and girls, and welcome once again to Toon Jam. I am Matt. And I'm Jayman. And you have joined us today as we are taking a look at the Disney series Peppa Ann. Peppa Ann. Peppa Ann. <laughs> A <laughs> um, little bit of background information. Uh, Peppa Ann is an American animated sitcom created by Sue Rose and aired on uh, Disney's uh, Disney's One Saturday Morning on ABC. It debuted on September 13th, 1997 and ended on November 18th, 2000. Um, there were five seasons with 65 episodes. Which seems like, for a cartoon, a very small amount of episodes for the amount yeah. of seasons. Yeah, definitely. Like for That's what like see- three seasons worth. Yeah. Um, so, uh, reruns, uh, to be fair, though, it was also uh, 113 segments, but still, yeah. you know. Um, well, was there? reruns were also shown on uh, Disney's One Two on UPN during 2000 2001 season, and later on the Disney Channel and Toon Disney until 2008. Peppa Ann was the first Disney animated television series to be created by a woman. Really? Yeah, interesting stuff. Uh, Tom Warburton, uh, who later created Cartoon Network's code name Kids Next Door, served as the lead character designer for the series. Mm. A uh, couple of fun facts about uh, Pepper Ann, uh, uh, the creator, Sue Rose. Uh, you may, the, the, the diligent amongst you may remember her from uh, Angela Anaconda. She was the co-creator on that and the voice of Angela Anaconda. Um, and also, and this might, I, I even thought when I watched it, this correlation, but she is known for co-creating the character um, Fido Dido. Oh, really? Yeah. No way. So, um, her and uh, Joanna Ferrone created Fido Dido. But the anime, like the art style is very similar, I suppose, mm. to this. Um, another fun fact. Uh, Pepper Ann and Lydia, who is a mother, make a cameo appearance in the first House of Mouse episode uh, titled The Stolen Cartoons. They are the only Walt Disney television animation characters ever to appear on The House of Mouse, which otherwise only use characters from Disney's features and classic shorts and sometimes comics. Lydia says, don't touch, don't touch the villain, dear, to Pepper Ann after Pete falls out of the sky after being kicked out of the club. Wow. So there you go. A true Disney character. Mm. Pepper Ann, Pepper Ann. A uh, little, uh, the tagline is, too cool to be 12. Ah. Mm. I mean, I must say, this, this uh, first thing I will say, this show is so, like, late 90s, early noughties. Yeah. It's like, smacks of it, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. It's like, what I would, I would, the first thing I was trying to think of, it, like, how I would describe it, and what came to me was, um, sort of a Disney Channel Daria. Yeah. Yeah, that's insane. So she's not necessarily like, you know, Daria in the way that she doesn't fit in. She's actually desperate to fit in. Mm. Uh, more like a, you know, real life 12 year old, I guess. Yeah, it's very much. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm glad you said 12 because like the middle school and all that really confuses me because I don't know what the ages are. Yeah, uh, <laughs> you know, being being British, yeah. we we uh, we just have you know primary school, secondary school. I guess mi- middle school is like secondary school, the start of secondary school. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know, 12. Yeah, that would put you in. Year seven, wouldn't it? Or yeah, years... 11, 11 yeah. and 12, they're in there. So, yeah, yeah. something like that. Somewhere. So, somewhere there, yeah, I'm sure it is. And she's just started, so it would make sense. Hmm. Um, so, had you seen this before? Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd seen a handful of episodes. It wasn't something that I'd, you know, watched religiously or anything. But I, I, had, uh, I had seen it before, so it, I did have a few memories of it. 
like I remember her little pals and you know basically kind of how she acted and stuff but yeah that was pretty much it what about it's, you I watched it quite a lot um when I was younger um and I'd, it, at first I really didn't get on with it mm. I think because of the theme tune uh, may, n- not that the theme tune is necessarily bad it just got you know when it gets really stuck in your head yeah and it's quite an aggravating one to get stuck in your head it is yeah and the, the weird thing for me is that I, it always turns into Dr. Jones by Aqua. Yeah, 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 definitely. That's what I was. Really? I was going to say, it's been in my um, head since we watched it. <laughs> and I keep going, Pepper Ann, Pepper Ann, calling Pepper Ann. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper Ann, Pepper Ann, wake up. <laughs> <laughs> and it's really <laughs> irritating. And, and that it, it did remind me, like, oh, yeah, this is why it took me so long to get into it. Yeah, but I do remember I used to because it was on in the mornings, I think, on Disney Channel. And uh, so I, I used to watch it. It was like on before summer I wanted to watch. And then eventually I think it was in the mornings. It might have been the afternoons, but eventually I just ended up watching it and liked it. Um, but yeah, so I yeah, I had uh, it, it was kind of one of those things where I kind of forgot it existed. Mm. And then, like, seeing it again, watching it again, it's almost like it brought a large part of my youth back to me. Yeah. Because I guess we'd have been around the same age. Yeah, yeah. A um, little bit be little young. bit younger. Yeah. But still, yeah. So it kind of made sense. I was like, oh, yeah, flipping heck. That's come flooding back. That's it. So there you go, Pepper Ann. Full of memories for you. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I guess the first thing we should cover is that intro song. Mm. Uh, which when did Doctor Jones come out? Um, it's got to be around the same time. Yeah. Who 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 came first? That's what I want to know. Yeah, I, that's that's what I want to know too. I have a quick like, one. I'm sure Aqua's version is a bit pluckier, like because this is supposed to be a bit more like punky isn't it like literally it came out the same year really 97 oh, oh boy who knows i wonder if there's a legal dispute over there oh there's gotta be aren't there <laughs> absolutely 100 percent gotta be 97 mm. Ooh. i mean this was september yeah so you know i guess i don't know when the album came out but yeah, it, is, it is a weird one like it's a i guess the theme kind of makes sense because it's it's very like you could imagine like school kids listening to it or whatever and being like this sounds rare i mean i did love aqua when they first came out as well so <laughs> it makes a lot of sense <laughs> i remember getting their album on tape so yeah, yeah. <laughs> um so yeah it, it fits the bill doesn't it the theme song as annoying as the, the hook is yeah because um, i didn't remember any of the rest of it because it had just been dr jones in my head for all these years yeah <laughs> so it's was... nice actually being like oh yeah there's more there's more to it than just saying a name because what's weird is before it started i started yeah. getting the dr jones song in my head yeah i couldn't figure out why mm. and i was just like why am i just adding pepper Ann to the dr jones <laughs> song all of a sudden it just, it just you know when you're just reading it like yeah i'm gonna yeah gonna watch this and i was just like why am i doing that i guess it just fits and then you know it started and i was like oh, oh that's it yeah <laughs> this is this all adds up but it was uh yeah it, i mean it's it's all right still it's got it i mean i did hate it when i was younger yeah it got so stuck in my head yeah i don't know if it's the way she like shouts it it's, yeah, very, it's, it's kind of like a grungy version it but is yeah not so grungy that it, you're gonna call it grunge no yeah she's got like a very like kind of punk uh, uh, attitude in the delivery of the way that she said yeah. it <laughs> yeah sort of snarling um, so, yeah and and like screaming yeah you yeah it's definitely got you you'll get okie doke syndrome from it if you, oh yeah oh if, boy if you listen. said that oh boy um yeah so so this was we watched the first episode, uh, Zitarella. Mm. 
and uh, it's photo day at school and she gets a spot she doesn't want to buy the spot cream because she doesn't want anyone to see her buying the spot cream mm -hmm. um which uh, it seems strange because she's got a spot on her forehead yeah like it's like well surely you know it's not gonna look weird buying the spot cream because you you've got it yeah on your forehead everyone can see it but hey ho um you know it serves the story and then uh, she has to go to like the the loser mall to pick up some on offer zit cream mm -hmm. which everyone has that like crap shopping center yeah i think you know the really cheapo horrible one no one goes there We've all got we've all got one in our town or near us at least. <laughs> we know it, um, and and she has that, and she's just desperate not to go. And it's all just about you know trying not to be seen as uncool. And I think first thing you can you can sort of relate to that, like you wouldn't want to go into, you, you know, you hit a certain age, you don't want to go to Poundland mm. or you know somewhere like that when when you were younger. I don't know what it is now. Yeah, I don't know what the equivalent is. Yeah, I don't know what kids do not want to be seen in nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> no idea. No. Because now I'm at, you know, Poundland. It's a big thing now. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah, it's weird because there's a lot less shops now than there was before. <laughs> yeah, that's it. maybe it's just shops. <laughs> <laughs> kids don't want to be seen on certain websites. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, oh, no. Don't, don't show my IP address that shows I was on like <laughs> boohoo.com. <laughs> there, there was no VPNs in life back in the day, kids. That's it. You got to remember that. You got to just why she had to go to such lengths to hide herself, and mm -hmm. uh, you know, then she was seen on TV, and it all, all comes crashing down around her. Mm. But all in all, I thought it was a good introduction to Pepperan. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it's a character. It showed you all the characters pretty much in this episode. Yeah. As well, whilst not feeling too much like a first episode. Yeah, pretty much threw you in, didn't it? It wasn't like, there wasn't very much like obvious introduction to stuff. It was just kind of like, could have been any episode really. Yeah. Um, and But it did it did also remind me quite a bit of um, Andrew Anaconda, mm. which I didn't know it was made by the same person when we watched it I've, I've only just found this out yeah um but it made a lot of sense like oh yeah there is that kind of similarity i think there's something you know it's just about you know kids actually just living their lives normally yeah i think it's the way that um pretty much every other situation is is sort of like played out as a fantasy as well that's very angela anaconda yeah very true yeah like you know it she just imagines what it'd be like going to the mall and then you know she starts imagining the abe lincoln t talking to her yeah, about yeah. going to his mall and it's like pretty much every other scene is some sort of like her imagining something something concocted in her brain the same way that Angela would with like, but most of hers are like ways that she would destroy Lynette, and, and Lynette yeah. <laughs> her enemy. So, uh, yes, it's a slightly different, but yeah, it's, it's got that same vibe, hasn't it? Yeah. And it's very like, you, you can sort of notice, like we always say, you know, it's always quite amazing going back to the, especially because we've done more 90s cartoons than we have anything else. Um, mm. But it definitely is more progressive than yeah. live action at the time yeah yeah um, which we see quite a lot but this especially obviously it's the first female creator um but all the characters there's there's not there's a lot of female characters mm. um and you know you've got different races uh, in there and there, there is definitely a, a very inclusive feeling about this without it like it doesn't seem like it's gone a, above and beyond mm. it just feels like normal setting yeah yeah like actually real life uh, not obviously it doesn't feel like real life in what it is because it's a silly cartoon it's also quite um satirical mm. 
uh, just to go off from that, it's all like this, you know, sort of the bit with like there's a newsreader that was also a, a model. Yeah. Who was so unbelievably airheaded. <laughs> yeah, she, she she couldn't remember half of the things she was trying to say. No. And, oh, and of all the sort of Disney Channel cartoons and Disney cartoons that we've watched, mm. this, it feels different. It feels like it was Nickelodeon. <laughs> yeah. It's got a certain, I guess this is around the time they bought Dog as well, isn't it? Mm. Which, so they were probably trying to make some sort of, you know, new new ground in, in their animation series. But this feels like, it's you can tell, it's just got a lot of MTV air about it. Mm, yeah. Like, but, you know, more like MTV aimed at actual kids rather than... Yeah, kid-friendly MTV, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's something about it because it's, it is... It, it feels more present and mm. it's not you know a load of animals doing weird stuff which often is you know you've got duck tails you've got uh there's a lot of the duck ones so mighty duck <laughs> yeah <too Tommy>. nice. <laughs> duck. <laughs> uh, gummy bears winnie the pooh and you know there's nothing wrong with any of these but this is like this is very new for disney mm. at the time i can't think of any before this that were just yeah, the normal cartoon characters. Yeah. I might be wrong with that. But I don't know if you can think of any. I can't think of any off, off the top of my head. Um, There's none. There's yeah. just none. But, I mean, when you think of Disney, you think of animals most of the time anyway. I mean, you know, their logos and mouse. Yeah. And then all his pals are all different animals. and like. So I've got, I've got a list here. I've got a list here of um, Disney cartoons that were on the same programming block on abc mm. um so in uh, the, released on the the same day in 1997 you've got which must be the start of this programming block uh, 101 dalmatians the series mm -hmm. disney's dog yeah uh, recess yeah so I suppose there's recess that isn't like was definitely a new thing at the time like nothing like that on disney yeah. before pepper ann uh, Jungle Cubs and Winnie the Pooh, the new adventures, yeah. um, which must be a newer one to the one we watched before, because mm. the one we watched was from late eighties. Yeah, correct, and that uh, unless they're just part of this block, um, and that's all it means. But you've got a list there, and that so Pepper Ann, Recess, obviously Doug was you know an acquired property. Mm. but that's two two very uh, it's a new direction for disney isn't it mm. yeah they're, they're sort of stepping away from uh, anthropomorphic animals <laughs> yeah and then after that you know similar ones that you've got later on uh the weekenders uh teacher's pet mm. lloyd lloyd in space which is yeah. aliens i suppose uh and then fillmore Mm -hmm. which is like a, a school detective one so you know it was definitely they were trying to make something new i think for disney mm. and i think it, it pays off yeah yeah it definitely feels different to the other ones like yeah. and obviously it's <laughs> i mean you, you sort of you're being marketed to kids so you've got to try and make things obvious so sort of like when you're doing you know allegories for stuff in the real world or like a comparison like you know if you show in the mirror it's got you can't do it with mice and stuff i suppose yeah, you've got yeah, to try and make it so it's like oh remember like this is the type of stuff you're going through <laughs> or like, yeah you know. <laughs> it's got to so, be relatable like yeah in 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 your people as well and it's it's weird really that this isn't better remembered mm. um yeah i don't it's because i, it, I mean it's definitely it's it's somewhere between one of their cartoons and one of like the Disney Channel, uh, you know, kids sitcoms. Mm. You know, sort of at the time where they had like, I don't know if it was Disney Channel, but there's like Sister Sister, Smart yeah. Guy, uh, Boy Meets World. Yeah. Those kind of shows. This is like a cartoon version of that, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. But it doesn't just yeah. feel. It feels like there's a. It, it's a cartoon with a reason. Mm. Um, but yeah, it seems strange to me that no one 
really talks about this now. Like it's yeah, not. I don't, know. I don't know why that. Don't know why that is really, because it is. It's got all those that, like you say, sort of MTV style elements almost to it, and it does feel very, very nineties. So, you know, all those people that are trying to like turn their nostalgia up to eleven. You'd think this would be one they'd go back to a bit more often because it's like just there's so much. I mean, the opening theme alone <laughs> will take you back. Yeah. <laughs> I know, and it's just like it is so because it's not just the animation style and the, the art style that that are super of the times. It's you know the the, the clothes they're wearing. It's the style. It's yeah, yeah. You know, the places they go to, like these big malls where like there's loads of shops, and mm. it's so nineties yeah Slash. It's, it's weird because so much of that is like i feel like a lot of my memories of the 90s are stuff like that where it's like obviously never went to any of those places like yeah. just seen them all on tv yeah <laughs> but this is one of those ones where it's like oh this is probably where i get all that knowledge from because yeah. the the premise of this episode the old um school photo scenario like like, I wonder if this episode in particular is, is one of, you know, the handful that I've seen that, that makes up that, that yeah. sort of, uh, my memories of that. Because we, we didn't do photo, school photos in exactly the same way or like, I don't really have that many memories of my actual school photos, but well, I'm you sure I've seen yearbook, of characters do you? it. Pardon? You don't have a yearbook. Uh, no. Okay. So you just like you have your photo taken, you go to school, you have your photo taken and then your parents buy some photos of you at school. Yeah, if they want to, sometimes they don't. Uh, and secondary school, you did have them, but not not that often. Mm. I don't remember having many. No, it was only when I got to sixth form that we had an actual yearbook. Yeah. So yeah because and, and it was just because like it was such an american thing that you'd seen in you know tv yeah so cartoons and and, and tv programs that you were just like oh why don't we do that it's like yeah. a school prom yeah and yeah we knew when we did them now now they do them every year for all years really yeah i think so that you know they've always got them but i remember when we did it we were like one of the first in our school Oh, really? To have one, yeah. So, obviously, in America, that's the norm. Mm. You see it, well, according to the TV I've watched. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I'm going to recite these episodes to you <laughs> <laughs> as my sources. Yeah. So, it is, yeah. And it, and it is weird because it is a full on, it feels like a part of your youth. It does, yeah. Yeah, it's strange how it does that. And I, th I mean, I guess it's because a, a lot of the, you know, you've seen it more several times, like it's not yeah. just Pepper Ann that did this, like you would have seen probably a live action version in like, you know, Boy Meets World or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah then, definitely. And then you've seen it like a handful of times in, in the cartoons as well. But I think that's like the the, the stuff that Pepper Ann does is is what helps it become that like you know a seed for nostalgia because it's got all of these elements together it's yeah. got those like weird fantasy bits with like you know completely like left field ideas and then mixed with the style of the clothes that are super baggy and then like super tight sometimes yeah. <laughs> like every everything kind of like hangs in a way that like there's a sort of like crest underneath it or whatever you know how yeah. we were talking about that guy's hair the other week on the <laughs> on some show we watched and uh, yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. like a loop over the top of it everything is, is it was a uh, ghostbusters wasn't it yeah i think so yeah <laughs> everyone's got like a baggy piece of clothing on like yeah. but, and i remember like that's how i used to dress when i was younger yeah like, everything i mean i still dress like that to be honest like every like that's probably where it comes from the fact that it was like yeah if you did, if it wasn't baggy, it wasn't worth wearing. So, yeah, and it, and it's and it's not just that. It's like the nostalgia also lies in like 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 I said, we've only we only watched one episode, but mm. that sort of having a spot on your face. Mm. At least you know there's probably some people that you know still at our age, you know, bother about. It. If I, I've got a spot on my face now, it's just like well. Is what it is, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> so what that's can I do? As far as that goes. <laughs> yeah, but when you're a kid, it matters so much, and you yeah. kind of, at least I did. You, you forget that, 
Mm. And then watching this was almost like teen nostalgia, like remembering my own emotions and how serious things are. And then you kind of think like, actually, you always look back at being a kid and how simple it was. And, and it was. But still, it was all relative. Like it, yeah. at the time, it was so stressful. Mm. It's just now you look back and you're like, I wish they were my stresses because that's so like not a problem yeah it's 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 weird that exchange that you get where yeah. you get all the responsibilities and stuff and then all those things just kind of disappear into the background yeah. because well, they need stuff... to, like they need to be your problems otherwise as you get older yeah you wouldn't see it like that no that's true and yeah. and, and it is funny watching that and you're kind of like oh yeah it was it it's never as simple as you think so you know mm. next time you hear a kid complaining about something like that give him a break <laughs> it's a good rule. Yeah, a good rule to live by, I think. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Um. All right. And well, uh, I think we've uh, talked the talk, mm -hmm. so it's time to review the review. Hey, yeah, uh, hey, uh, really struggling with coming up with these uh, the theme tune for for this uh, this Pepper Ann show. So uh, I've, yeah, I've got. Yeah, some... yeah. It's got yes. some ideas floating about. Uh, don't know about you. Um, I, I'm thinking of going in a, like a you know pop direction, like a pop. Uh, it's like a pop kind of perky kind of pop. You know, just we want something here. We want something now. We want something to say. Hey, this is 1997. That's it. This is the kid. The kids. Something the kids will love. Um, okay, I, I've got this one. Uh, it's like a it goes like this. Uh, and I say pepper in. Pepper Ann, Pepper Ann, she says her name is Pepper Ann, Pepper Ann. I, I don't know, there's... Uh, there's there's uh, something there, there's something there. I like the uh, the use of the name in the song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you've got to, you've got to ram it home with, you know, the kids. You've got yeah. to make sure the kids remember it on that one. And I think I'll, I'll go for a similar thing. I think, but, you know, the, the song, it sounds too much, too familiar. I would say so. You really need to create something that is absolutely now, but absolutely original. So yeah. something more like um, uh, so, you know, pepper, uh, pepper, a pepper and a pepper, a pepper, pepper, pepper and pepper and. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like that. There's something, something about that that really, really clicks with me. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and but e even so, there's. I don't know. I don't know if it needs a bit more. There, there's something it's it's missing. Needs a bit more uh, more oomph. I think. Um, okay. Like, okay. I, I'm thinking something that's more like a. Hey now, pepper and you're a pepper and pepper pepper. You're an and now. You, you know what I mean? Like it's it's got yeah, like yeah, yeah. I, 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 kind of goes I, in on the, on the pepper and yeah. I think something maybe that is. It might sound strange. I, it just don't feel like it embodies uh, the show uh, as, mm. a, as a whole. Um, it's got that punch, and it's got the good lyrics that we've been we've been working on here. But yeah. I think something that a bit more reflects, you know, Pepper Ann's a girl. She's at you know starting school, uh, middle school, of course. Uh, so I think something maybe, um, you know, if you want to be Pepper Ann, you got to be Pepper Ann. Pepper, pepper, and pepper, pepper, and yeah. Yeah, yeah, I do yeah. like that. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I like the, the the tone of that. It's 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 really nice, and and I think you know when it when it comes to you know the content, I think you've really you've really gone there in on you know what Pepper Ann's all about. I think, mm -hmm. and I, I think that we, we've got to keep that in there. We've really, we've really got to keep that in. Yeah. So I, I don't know, but even so, I think maybe switching the tone up a little bit and then just okay, okay. If, if we go maybe something like um uh pepper and pepper and calling pepper and pepper and pepper and wake up now pepper and yeah that's perfect I, you know what we've got it okay so here at toon jam uh, we have a three point rating system which goes as follows uh thumbs up Fido Dido. Mm -hmm. That guy's still kicking about. Yeah. He screams 90s, but he's in the present. What's going on there? He's a seven up. Seven up, just to go on it. They've got two two characters. What? You know, Cool Spot. Do you remember Cool Spot? Oh, yeah, yeah. Cool Spot and Fido Dido. What's going on there? 
What, what, what are the other brands doing? Behind. Um, thumbs down <laughs> the other brands' efforts on the... <laughs> I mean, who's the Coca-Cola guy? Uh, yeah, a, a polar bear. <laughs> what a loser. Who cares? <laughs> yeah, bring him out at Christmas, then where does he go? And shaky middle, um, 90s hits. Yeah, I said it. I yeah. went there. Yeah, what? <laughs> you heard it here last. Yeah, yeah come it, come, come at me, bro. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so uh good bad uh you know in the in the middle we're not really sure where we lie with that mm. okay um so pepper Ann, episode one zitarella your thoughts yeah um definitely um maybe you know in the future i might like mute the intro just so i don't get the, the song <laughs> stuck in my head <laughs> for the rest of the week um but you know it does it all of it very much reeks of 90s in, in a good way um yes. you know I, I do like that kind of art um the the, the look of it uh, i like the characters and um you know i personally am a fan of you know taking your brain into like weird places and stuff so i i, I liked that about angela anaconda and I, I i do like that about this um i think it's I, it does feel like a, you know something that would be relevant to kids at the you know at that time in their lives and it's got all their little problems being blown out of proportion um and all the people around them you know i think we've all got like a someone who represents that because you know you see her mom and her, her auntie and stuff and then you've got a close-knit friend and then you've got those people like the the principal and stuff who kind of like become their enemies <laughs> for whatever reason um <laughs> And, you know, all that kind of makes sense in the world of, of a kid. You know, you've got the people you like, the people you, you don't like so much. Um, and I mean, like, there isn't, I can't really think of anything that I was like, yeah, I'm not really a big fan of that. Um, you know, the, the way that she was as a, as a character kind of made sense as, you know, like a 12 year old or whatever. She was a bit nervous and she was a bit, she was confident about some stuff and then completely the opposite on others. So yeah. I think that's how kids are. They're very up and down, aren't they? Yeah. So, yeah, I think it kind of makes sense. Um, yeah, there wasn't wasn't anything that, um, you know, was really jarringly felt wrong about it or that upset me even now, even as a, a grown adult. It all kind of fit together in a way that I think worked. So I think for me, Pepper Ann's going to have to be a thumbs up. A thumbs up. Um, right, okay. Well, Pepper Ann, yeah, I I mean, we've already praised it quite a bit anyway. Mm. Um, so it's probably not going to come as a surprise. But um, I think it's it's such a... It's, it's a shame that no one remembers this show because it's, like you say, it's, you know, it does reek of the 90s in a, in a, in a really nice way. Mm. Um, and it still, you know, it still has relevant issues. Yeah as well like that that are like universal kids are always going to be hating when they get spots and things like that that's just oh, yeah. it's just part of life um the characters in it are all pretty fun um I, it made me like actually laugh out loud at parts it's edgy enough to have the odd joke in that makes you go like oh yeah that's pretty cool that that's in there mm. um but not even not it's like almost adult jokes that aren't necessarily um you know if a kid understood it it wouldn't be like flipping it how did that get in there yeah so it's just like the right amount for a especially for a disney show mm. um and it just it feels like it's just really cool to watch a nice little reminder and it is a shame that no one remembers it uh as well as they do i, I urge everyone to go and watch it if they're interested and, and it's really good how progressive it is for mm. for the time um because even though a lot of the cartoons we're trying this is like the next step um yeah. and, it, and it works really well so yeah thumbs up thumbs up all around thumbs up for pepper Ann. thumbs up for pepper Ann. so there you go uh that's another week down uh another another good good show we're, we're mm. doing pretty well recently yeah it's been a while since we've been we haven't had a stinker for a while I <laughs> yeah so uh that's pretty good uh but who knows who knows what the next few weeks <laughs> yeah could be next week <laughs> we just... and, if, and if not there's always christmas <laughs> oh yeah it's always yeah. christmas okay well thank you again for joining us uh don't forget if you want to get in touch with us you can do so on the three uh um 
corny hits of the internet facebook instagram and twitter at toon jam pod uh, and you can also catch more bonus material on our patreon uh, if you want to support us on there that is great otherwise if you want to support us you can just simply give us a rate and review on whatever you listen to us on it really helps us that helps other people find us it actually goes such a long way into helping us keep the, the show rolling and producing more and more content just as any of you jam heads would want i've no doubt um but other than that thank you again for listening to us uh that is the biggest the biggest part anyway so i hope you enjoyed it and until next time you stay jammy Hey everyone, thank you for listening. If you want to help the show keep going, you can be extra jammy by heading over to our Patreon page at patreon.com slash toonjampod. Here you can get a shout out on the show or run like bonus episodes. Ratings and reviews anywhere you listen to the podcast also really help us out. So thank you and stay jammy.